Hi, this is Chad Roberts from BGG. We're here with Bur the famous Berkey, uh, and he's here showing off uh, game toppers. Game th toppers. This is, I've been all over the con, and these like, you've got like, there's two in our hot games room upstairs. People are eating these up, and I've been like, there's one at the portal booth. You've got it's several booths here at the con. It's been fantastic. The support from the hobby uh, publishers has just been overwhelming. Um, Yellow has some beautiful tables in there. There are uh, like eight tables there, Arcade Wonders, Capstone Games, Mayday Games. Uh, we have, have them at the Gray Fox booth, Eagle Griffin, um, uh, Board Game Geek has been so gracious. Yeah, we've got two of them up there. And up in the hot games room, yeah. and there. people are loving them. Good, uh, CGE has some upstairs as well. And uh, the companies have just been so encouraging. They just, their, their booths look like a million bucks, and so they're really demoing their games in luxury. They, they are really good, and we set ours up. So we had two tables. It was like, it was the exact time. What you can't see on camera is the ease of setup on it, and we were just using like the, the standard con tables. Right. And there's like a little foam pad under it, and uh, they're, they're two piece. And right. they interlock, and then to keep them locked in, there's some like looks like wing nuts here on the side. That, That's correct. And they slide in, and uh, literally we had our tables set up in the hot game there. It took maybe like five minutes to set up at max. Yeah, yeah. And it was great. And that was really part of the engineering design because what we wanted to do is turn your existing dining or kitchen table into a high quality gaming experience. So it virtually you put it on the table, align the two halves, lock the rail, it virtually becomes one table. And then what most people love about game tables, they want to get their drinks off of the table. Right. So we have a modular military-grade aluminum system, and what this allows us to do is put these anywhere on the table. So if you're playing a two-player game or a six-player game, put them where they're out of the way. They're not stationary. And one thing that's cool about these things, I love this, yeah. we have these beautiful cork inlays. Yeah. And these are made by Daedalus Productions. They've been so fantastic. Yeah, they make good stuff. Oh, good stuff anyway. Ben's a gem. And these are all hard red oak. Um, so it's a cup holder, but then it also can be a component tray yeah. and or a writing surface. Right. And we have these in different sizes. They just fit right in the rail, modular. And then we have the large units. So you can put your iPad on it. Um, you have a larger writing surface like this here, you know, for scorecards, right. things of that nature. But what's going to be really cool is we are coming out with a footprint of all kinds of accessory trays that fit in here. Oh, that is awesome. When you see this dice tower, that it, we, we're, it's almost done, but it sits in the smaller cup holder tray, comes up, and your dice roll right into the vault. That's awesome. It's going to be cool. That, is, that will it. be awesome. Um, so and, if, you're, if you're playing like a, a game like, like El Grande or something like that, or you know that has a dice tower in it, you, don't have, you can set that thing up, but you can just use that. Too. Well, it's just one of those cool things. You know, we have card holders here for our slots. And these have been engineered so they're wider, so you can use tiles like Carcassonne. And yeah, I think uh, they were playing uh, They were playing some code names and like uh, like the first night after we set it up and Aldi called me over, he, he was like, they were, uh, they were, no, it wasn't code names, I forgot what it was. But, uh, he was like, look at that, did you know that? Because he's not obviously apparent when you set that up of what that is. Right, and then right. it's like, holy moly. Uh, it's just little things, you know, I worked with engineers, you know, I, I had five prototypes and have worked uh, over a couple of years, but the last eight months dedicated to making this gamer friendly. You know, there, there's people that can make furniture, but we want something that we're going to love, right? Yeah. And so I knew some of these features that I would want and uh, talked to a lot of people and said, what do you want? Um, one of the things that people expressed is, you know, this creates an experience. We're playing games, so we have these thematic game maps. Mm -hmm. and, and I wish I could show you graphics, but we have a Texas Hold'em map. It's this old west barnwood feel with oh, little, that's awesome. uh, yeah, it's just cool. Uh, we also have the uh, uh, space field map that's really a Yeah, because uh, I don't know if we should get that cool, but these actually come up and you can you can have different ones and you could go back. Oh, that's no. correct. These are, these are neoprene mats. There you go. There we go. This is our basic game topper mat, and these will just fit right in on the table. Now this is going to be just a basic mat here that, that you can play normal games and that type of thing on, and it's game topper logo. But we are going to have a premium game mat that's three millimeters. This here is only two millimeters. It's going to have a stitched edge, and then it has these beautiful art assets. Uh, the space map is like 
crazy awesome. There's an adventure map that looks like the Lord of the Rings. Oh, wow. Um, this thing is awesome. And we were very careful to have all the art assets around the edge of the table. So when you're playing your games, you're not losing your, your components exactly. in the artwork. Yeah, that's awesome. And so, and this is coming, you're doing the Kickstarter, is it after the con that you're doing? The, yes, the we're, we're targeting right now the middle of September. Okay. And we're really excited about that. And one of the things that I was making a commitment to, I wanted to build these in America. Right. And so I'm working with a manufacturer that's just outside of my community that has a 90,000 square foot facility. Um, they have nine uh, CAD uh, uh, CNC machines. We can hit a good capacity and really manage quality control because I'm, I'm just really picky. I want things nice. I want quality. I didn't want this just to be cheap old, just to get a low price. Yeah, because that's the one thing. This is not this is not cheap material. No, this is very stout. This is like, heirloom this type is, of quality. Yeah, this has got this is like, like a hard metal surface right there. Right? Yeah, this is military grade aluminum uh -huh. with a hard powder coat. What's beautiful about this surface is you don't see your fingerprints or the oil no. on the table. No, and we've had like I think in the game room we've had like around a thousand or so people a day come in and playing on these and things. And like we've got photosynthesis set up on it. Oh yeah. It looks amazing. That was beautiful. I like saw that. you come in the door, bam, there it is. But well, I think one of the things too with the engineering is this adds about three and a quarter inches height to your table, which is really cool because most tables you're at 29 inches and then you're hunched over the table and your back starts hurting. This here gives you a beautiful armrest. It's all soft edges and all of a sudden ergonomic state, you know, how much more comfort. I can play a three hour game and boom. Yeah, exactly. So when you do this, when, when this launches, What's, is it just going to be the table and we're going to do these as an add-on? Is it? Are you focusing on the whole package or how is that going to work? That's a how, great is that, question. Is that a plan? Is that how that's going to work? Uh, we have a plan. <laughs> it's a... Uh, uh, we are excited. We, I really wanted to make these affordable. Okay. So I'm working very diligently on getting my shipping as low as possible for gotcha. different regions. So I'm doing a lot of a lot of backside business things to make sure that's in place. Um, my manufacturing is all ready to go. We're going to hit the really hit it running. Um, but we're going to have packages. One thing I haven't mentioned is each one of these base tables. This is the inside play area is 38 by 60. So beautiful space, you can play large footprint games on this surface, yeah. but you can buy an extra rail uh, 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 rail just like this accessory and convert this into a mini table. Oh, wow. Yeah, so two for one. That's pretty neat. So in the, the, so the if mini you don't table. Have a full or if you're in a smaller apartment, you're not sacrificing, you, you, uh, hey, we're out of luck. No, you've got something separate. And, and we're going to have some of those that are already assembled and totally built as a mini table. We have a lot of vendors here at Gen Con that are doing that. Um, and there's a 38 by uh, 38 by 30 and a 36 by 36, which is X-Wing style. And that's perfect. And we're going to have some of those starting at $399. Um, some of these deluxe models like this, we're going to have a $499 and a $599. Which you take a look at what a price of a like because I've, I've we've got we've got a full size table at home and compared to what and we're not going to talk about what I paid for that one at home but what this would talk to eat, to eat all the bells and whistles for it's a fraction of what we paid for it. Ex yeah exactly and that that's what most people live and one of the things that we've done with this here on the bottom a lot of people are concerned does it move that's what, a question I get a lot these tables are incredibly stout. There's a 3M engineered soft rubber that will protect your fine table. Yeah, and I wish there was a way we could show that on camera. Because when we set it up, you, you really can. Like, I've got my hand it's, up. It's like the, yeah, it's the, not table, going anywhere. the table itself will move before the topper will move. And it's because it creates a large friction footprint, which is really fantastic. Awesome, awesome. All right, Mr. Berkey. Oh, uh, yeah, if we want to find more information about it or what's what's the plan going on, where can they find more information about it? Thank you. You can go to Game Toppers LLC. GameToppersLLC.com and you can check us out on Twitter at Game Toppers LLC or Facebook at Game Toppers. We're on Instagram. Uh, you're going to see all kinds of footage coming out with all these great publishers at uh, Gen Con. But coming forward, our Kickstarter will be launching in the middle of uh, September, and you can actually get those little cards that I had. Um, there's Wait, a. That's actually it's under probably the map. underneath there, isn't it? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> you can get these cards. There's a QRC code. 
or you can go right directly to GameToppersLLC.com and enter to win one of these beauties. Yeah, zoom in on that QR code. That way, if people are at home, they can just take a picture of it and scan it on the phone. Exactly. Can you get that, guys? There we go. Bam! There's your QR code for people at home. So they, they're not missing out. Yes, exactly. Not everybody can make it to Gen Con, but we are inclusive, and we are going to do this and help everybody get into this type of thing. Exactly. Um, I'm so excited. Thank you for helping yeah, us. We really awesome. want to do this yeah, big. this so. would be great. So, yeah, definitely, guys. Check it out. Game Toppers. Thank you, Mr. Berkey. Thanks, buddy. Bam! Awesome. And uh, this has been Gen Con 2017. Bye.